All right, guys, welcome back. It's Jonathan Sheffield. I'm going to teach you how to make a very simple lower thirds graphic in Premiere Pro today. Um, if you have any working knowledge of Premiere, you won't have to leave the uh, program to do it. No After Effects, no Photoshop. It's all right here in Premiere. So to start, we have this basic video of me doing my stand up for my Journalism 3900 class. And let's say I want to add a lower thirds describing who I am and what I'm doing here. So we're going to start by adding the text. On a Mac, you're going to hit Command T. You're going to select the workspace first, then we're going to hit Command T, and it'll pop up a new text layer. If you have a PC, just hit Control T, and it does the same thing. So then to edit the text, we're going to make sure that I have the Titles workspace selected right here. So these are all your workspaces. Make sure you have Titles selected for this. Then I'm going to make sure that the T, which is the Type tool, is selected. I'm going to come in here and change all this. So I'm going to get rid of that. Bye. And we'll type in my name. And GSU Journalist. Okay, but this is not where I want the text to be. So what I'm going to do is I want to show up right at the beginning of the video. I'm going to click down here on my text layer and drag it to the beginning of the video. All right, and that's not the position I wanted either. So I'm going to hit Effects Controls, and right here where it has all of this text option, you can change your font, the size, and all that fun stuff, and how it's aligned, the color, shadow, all that. But I'm not worried about that right now. I just want to move my position and scale. So I'm going to move the position, and I'm going to move it to the left by dragging that number that you can see changing. All right, we'll move it a little more to the right. Then we'll move it down. So we'll move it down here to where the lower thirds is. But as you can see, you can't see it because it's just text and there's no background. But we'll fix that in just a second. I want to change the GSU Journalist to be a little bit smaller. So I'm just going to select it and then come over here to my um, text size, which is right here, this 100. And I'm just going to drag it down just a little bit. That looks good to me. All right, great. So now we have the text where we want it, but we just can't see it. So to do the, to get it where we can see it, we're going to add what's called a color mat up under it. To do that, you just go up here to File, New, and Color Map. It's going to give you all this. It should already be set for your default screen size so you shouldn't have to mess with any of this so then we're going to click OK and then we're going to select the color um, Georgia State's color is blue and white so we're just going to stick with that I'm going to select the blue uh, we'll go with that blue it's a little dark that blue works and then we're going to click OK you can name it something if you want to I just usually leave my name to color map and that's going to import right over here into our project bin. Now, in order to see your text and color mat, you need to move your text line up and put the color mat up under it. If you put the color mat on top of the text, you will only see the color mat. All right, so I'm going to drag my color mat and lay it right up under my text. But as you see, that made the video go away. Well, to fix this, you click on the color mat and then make sure you're still in effects controls and we're going to change the scale of it so I'm going to scale mine way down Ooh, too far and then we're going to change the position to be right up under the text and I want mine to touch a corner too so I'm going to scale it back up and then we're going to move the uh, vertical position until I like where it is and if we watch the video, it's just there, which doesn't really look professional, but if you don't have the time or the knowledge to mess with animations and transitions, it's fine. But I'm gonna show you how to add in just a simple push transition so that it just comes in and comes out. All right, we're going to go over here to our effects. Then I'm just going to type in push. And it comes up with slide push. I'm going to add a push at the beginning of my text and a push at the end of my text, a push at the beginning of my color mat, 
and a push at the end of my color map. That way when the video starts off, this is what you see. It all slides in together and I don't want to push out that way. So that's the default push angle, but I don't want mine to travel across the screen. I want to push out the same way it pushed in. So I'm going to select this push and go back into effects controls. Oh, no, I don't want to change the duration. I just have to change where it goes. Then we're going to click reverse. So that way mine does, oh, I got to click reverse on the bottom one too. Everything you do on the top one, you have to do on the bottom one. That way it should go, push in, and push out the same direction it came in from. So now it's just me talking, looking very awkward. I do apologize for that. But guys, that's the simplest way to create a um, easy lower thirds graphic in Premiere Pro. Now, if I wanted to, I can extend all of this to cover the entire lower thirds. I can make it larger or smaller. You just mess with the effects controls like I showed you. So that's the simplest way to do it. It's good for giving someone a name and description, or if you want to post a question in the bottom of your video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. 